Okay. It's now recording, right? Okay. So, welcome guys to my video. In this video, we're gonna learn how to deploying Laravel app to the shared hosting. So, right in this video, I have a topics for you. So, the first one, we're going to install the Laravel applications on the local machine until it's running successfully and then we're gonna deploy it to the hosting and we will set up the production environment like we're gonna configuration the env dot the .env file and the project structure and the security tips okay so let's get started we will demo from the start of the laravel project installed we will install first the laravel applications on my local machine here so in this video, we will try to use Laravel 8 version, which the name is Laraploy, and enter. It will install on your laptops. Okay, just wait until it's done. It takes some time. Alright, okay, we've done. And then we're gonna uh, in into the folder Laraploy, and we will install the Breeze, which is starter kit for authentication. We just need to copy paste this. Okay, and uh, once you're done. We're gonna install the breeze php origin breeze install and then npm install just wait until it's installing the packages the required packages done and we gonna npm run dev okay and migrate so we have a table oh sorry I, I haven't uh, set up the database so firstly first you need to open the projects to the visual studio code and we define this database name which Laraploy and here is my database configurations can go to the PHP my admin <coughs> and create a new database for the demo I'm gonna name it Laraploy here okay once you're done we just need to migrate again re-migrate okay and now because I'm using valid I have an automatically virtual host it's the same as the project's name which is Laraploy and we can access it laraploy.test and here's is the Laravel 8 which I successfully installed on my local machine you can log in and register uh, here is using breeze like we're gonna give an example admin 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 at gmail.com admin123 admin123 register and okay we we have successfully installed the Laravel on our local machine now next step we're gonna deploy it to the hosting okay first you have to prepare or you have to own one hosting cert hosting or VPS something like that so I'm gonna using this because I have already one shared hosting okay first you're gonna upload the projects to the file manager on your hosting provider okay firstly we have to zip the projects okay let's go 
to the project folder lot of ploy here you need to zip all the projects like this and just compress and here I have one hosting okay and I'm gonna I'm going to go into the cPanel so I have a full feature of the hosting so the first one we're gonna upload the project you choose file manager and and here we have to make we have to create a folder in the root folder not in the public HTML in out of public HTML we're gonna make a folder Laraploy which this folder is going to store our Laravel project here Laraploy we're gonna upload it upload the zip file the zip projects here wait no. while we waiting this uploading we can create a database first using the MySQL database wizard give it a name Laraploy and the same as the user is the DB name and here's the password okay so we just copy this and create user give all the access to the user and then once you're done back to the file manager look at that until we're done and once it's done green we're gonna back to Laraploy and then extract the zip project here extract all the files and after we successfully extract the files first we need to settings the environment the environment because we have an upload on the server we're gonna change the app URL here as the your hosting hosting domain which mine is barista1.com and then here the database we're gonna custom as the database on my hosting here is my password and then once you're done just save the file okay once you're done we're gonna move this public folder into the public HTML because this is the file that the user access for the first time leave the lot of project files outside of public HTML which is this all so that user cannot access these files including the configuration file which is dangerous okay so firstly we're gonna have to uh, enter the public HTML and make a new folder because I'm gonna give it on a subfolder Laraploy it's the same as your project Laraploy and once you created the file we're gonna back to Laraploy project go to the public folder and then move this all this select all and uh, move to the Laraploy on public HTML which is this just drag and drop Laraploy and once you move the files we're gonna make a little settings here we're gonna customize the project path because it's not uh, it's not like this you have to change the directory like this change we're gonna out of the folder and enter the Laraploy just same like this and here's also not apply okay so you have to understand this project folder in the production configuration it's not the same as the local server in the production we have two public folder you, you have two folder which is the first one is for the repository it's the project core uh, files and in the public HTML which is your public folder on this 
public file public folder okay so once you've done this you save save the files and then I'm gonna migrate the database here the migration if you have SSH you can just PHP artisan migrate on the server but if you don't have access to the terminal you can just export the SQL here and migrate it on cPanel like this you have Lara ploy which is empty and we're gonna import it from local exported local SQL once you're done we're gonna back to here and it should be running now you can just access Lara ploy and yep we have done uh, uploading deploying the Laravel 8 projects to the shared hosting and now we can uh, login like admin at gmail admin123 login and yep you guys successfully deploying your laravel app to the hosting okay okay one thing you need to remember you have to change the app debug to false because it's already on your production so the user can can't see the errors log which is dangerous for the app okay okay all right so so that's the tutorial from me i hope you understand what i'm explained thank you i hope it's useful for you guys thank you see you on the next video